What challenges does Alvin Kamara present for for the defense from a pat, um, receiving standpoint and a rushing standpoint? Um, he's a very elite uh, runner and a very elite uh, pass catcher. So, um, you know, when when I use him in the pass game, whether it's screens or him, you know, getting out in the flats um, with the routes they can run, even you know, putting him out at one and making plays, um, you know, we got to do a great job of angle tackling him. Um, he's a very a very balanced runner. So when you do hit him, he's good at you know bouncing off the run, spinning, and making plays. So we just got to get a lot of and get get everybody to the ball once he get it because he can definitely wreck the game. CJ, did you have any? Conversation or anything with uh, Fletcher after that day because he posted something on Instagram of you guys hugging each other. You know after you said that they didn't, you guys didn't even shake hands. Yeah, um, no, I didn't. I didn't talk to him after the game. Um, on it, that's that pitch. Only, only time we even like spoke anything was right before coin toss. So we did the handshake, but um, no, we didn't. We didn't speak anything after. Was there? What was the conversation like with your team about that? Like, did you say something to them? Uh, you know, we can't have this anymore. Where teams are disrespecting us. Um, it, it was just more so that, you know, we got to either earn earn the respect or take the respect. And at the end of the day, that comes with performing on the field and winning games. So, um, you know, at the time, it was the, it had to be the Eagles and have to be happened to be one player, but it could have been any team, any other player. So, um, the, you know, saying his name is not really – wasn't really my point of the of my of the conversation. It was more the point that, you know, this is going to keep happening if, you know, if we don't change the narrative, if we don't, if we don't do something about it. And – at the end of the day, you got to win games and you got to do it the right way, and that's how you that's how you ultimately get your respect on the field. How often have you noticed things like that? I guess over the course of the season, not just this, from, from the Eagles. Um, I mean, I don't I don't like try to look for it. Um, honestly, I, it just happened. I just happened to see it at the time, so. Um, I don't. I can't. I can't really give you a, like a perfect number or something like that. But it just goes back to, you know, um, don't, not really mattering like who the person is or who the team is. Um, if we're not if we're not doing the right things, then um, we, we open the gates for the disrespect to happen. We open the gates for the blowouts to happen. We open the gates for the, to get laughed at and get humiliated on the field and off the field. So in order to change that, we got to change our mindset. And we got to do the right things on and off the field and win games. CJ, you know from being here now a little bit how just the scrutiny here uh, mm-hmm. in, in this city. And uh, I'm curious how you've seen your quarterback, uh, Zach, handle this in his first year, you know, just inside the closed doors. And, you know, obviously the quarterback position is even more intensified. Right. Um, I mean, honestly, I would say he's, he's handled it um, as best as he could. Um, <clears throat> you, go on, you go into a season with, you know, with high hopes, high expectations. And you don't you don't get what you want. So it's it's a lot of ways. A lot of people can react to that. A lot of ways people can can deal with that. Um, Zach is a you know very confident person. Um, Zach is a very motivated person. You know, and when he was injured, you know he didn't he didn't go on the show. You know, he he went right to work. He attacked his he attacked his rehab. He stayed in the film room. Um, and you know, and everybody in all our opinions, we feel like he's progressed. Um, so he just got to take take these last few games one one day one game at a time and try to get better with those games and you know once we get to the off season you know he can really start to reevaluate uh, really study more and kind of understand what this offense is what this league is going to you know try to do to him to to um, to not make him look good so uh, you know a lot of respect to him um, you know just for you know handling the situation that he, the way he has been doing and just coming to work every day with the right mindset um, and as as his teammate as his brother you know we got to make sure as on defense. You know, we're still doing a good job of, you know, getting him the ball, putting him in good positions. Because, you know, when he, when the team, when the offense is rolling like they did last week in the past few weeks, you know, we got to step up our play as well. Do you think that uh, that kind of scrutiny and, and just the intensity that he faces on a day-to-day basis it eventually will make him better and, and tougher because of having to face this kind of um, Well, for me to say, I, I hope so, but um, I, I believe it. Uh, I don't, I don't have any doubt in you know his game and his mindset. So, um, you know. Know, what what doesn't hurt you make you stronger. Why should you even care what the Eagles think? I came out of nowhere, but um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, if somebody disrespect you, do you care? No. Uh, well, on the football field, I care. I care when people laugh at my brothers. I care when we get get our ass <laughs> blew out on the football field. So, so yeah, I care. So when somebody laughing at at my coach or at my team. Or when you know when we're not playing and doing what I feel that we need to be doing to win, I'm gonna be upset. And um, like I said, it don't really matter if it's the Eagles or anybody. You know, it can, if, if you was disrespecting us, I, you know, I'll be looking at you funny too, and I'll be trying to figure out a way when we play you again or look at you again how we gonna beat you. So that's just my attitude, and that's you know, that's how I approach it. Really. 
I mean, that doesn't really matter. <clears throat> CJ, did, you um, that, did you sense that you weren't alone? You know, that others felt the same way? Do you expect there to be a response this week, you know, so you guys don't go through that again? Yeah, I, I expect to be a response. Um, you know, and that's 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 on that's on you know the older players, on the, the captains, the leaders, and that's also on on, um, on you know, everybody on the team. You know, we all have to play a part. You know, being successful, we all have to play a part um, of doing the right things. Uh, whether you're on a scout team, uh, whether you're on practice squad, you know, whether you're getting looks to the offensive, defense, special team, you know, it, it all matters. You know, everything that everybody do when they come to work and when they're at home, when nobody's watching, matters. CJ Wood, uh, from the moment you first kind of or. Did, uh, did you know Quincy Williams by any chance before he arrived here? I did it. So, what were your initial impressions of him when you kind of first, when you guys first started working together? So he came in, Jared went down, and kind of immediately mm-hmm. took over the starter. Uh, he was just eager to learn and just eager to be on the field. Um, first thing you know is obviously his speed and him just be able to you know fly around and make plays. But um, just from I think it was I forgot which um, when he first got here to now, I know he's grown a lot. So now we're at the point where like he even he even told me like how can he you know get his game better so uh, with you know just things as far as working on his eyes what he's looking at um, and all that comes with time because he's a young player but um, he, you know he can be a very special player as long as he's you know keep his head on the right shoulders um, and just keep studying because uh, at the end of the day you know <clears throat> when you when you play in this game you're going to go through phases where you you learn by making mistakes you learn from other people's mistakes and you learn from you know either either your, your, your vets or, you know, guys that have the same position. So um, me, me being, you know, the, the vet in the linebacker room, um, you know, when, like when he asked me, you know, how, how can I get better, you know, that kind of made me happy because, you know, I felt I had something to offer for him. So, um, you know, anybody, anybody that have any questions on our room or, you know, even at any other position, you know, I'm always, always available. Um, that's one of the things I wanted to, wanted to, to produce for as far as my game this year, just be more available to players, be more available to our, to our young guys, and and just you know try to be a leader on and off the field as much as I can. You mentioned speaking uh, of your younger guys, um, Bryce Hall, you didn't you didn't get a chance to play with him last year on the field, but what are you seeing of him and his progression? Um, I would say he's he's very consistent, um, and he he's he's hard on himself too. You know when when we're doing walkthroughs. When we doing um, when we when we have any kind of break, he's either you know working on his footwork, he's moving around, acting like acting like he's playing the ball, or he's um he's looking at his film. So um, you you love to see that from you know from from your teammates. So um, he he's gonna keep getting better, you know, with time, and uh, he just you know just got to be patient. You know, he's been doing a good job this year, and um I, and he knows and just like everybody else knows, you know, his next steps, next time the ball is there, you know, that's his ball. You know, he has a lot of pass deflections, but you know you, you make all the plays, you get the headlines and the money when you start picking. Off the ball, so um, once he once he get there, he's going to be an elite player. You're obviously a, a veteran, and, and a ton of players can come to look at. And the whole being a veteran thing is, is talked about a lot with us, but the other side of the coin is that you need to have the young players that actually want to learn and that mm-hmm. they need to want to ask the questions. So, is Quincy one of those guys that, that is in your pocket, whether it's on the field or in the meeting room, kind of picking your brain to, to learn from that experience? Yeah, out of all the linebackers, I would say he's the. He's the um, the most constant at trying to trying to start a conversation with me. So I'm not the big the biggest talker um, <laughs> off the field, but um, he's he's always has a you know just a good mindset, always smiling, um, cracking jokes. But um, but he like he wants to be one of the best linebackers in this league. So um, you know if I if there's anything that he that he asks like he did before or in the future, you know, I'll definitely be there um, to help him along the way. You're one of the players that, that is that. I mean, you're one of the better linebackers in the NFL. You've got the All Pros, the Pro Bowl appearances, things like that. I mean, when you look at him and see his skill set, does he does he have a similar ceiling? In your yeah, opinion? I, I believe so. So, um, but the more the more he studies, the more he studies books, that's just going to you know elevate his game even more because with his speed. And you know, if once he develops his study habits or his routine, um, and he won't he won't have to exert his speed when he doesn't need it. That's going to make him even more dangerous when he know when he can know when to attack, when he can know when to be patient. Uh, once he starts, you know, seeing the run fits better, things like that, uh, he's going to be a very good player. One of the things that uh, you guys have struggled with in the recent memory is just stopping the run. So what do you guys got to do? This week to be able to stop the run, especially when you know they're going to be out there with Taysom Hill, who's more of a running quarterback. Well, we got to know um, once once we see what personnel and what kind, kind of game they want to have. That's when we'll know like the mindset of you know of their offense and what we want to do as far as you know, our calls and things like that. 
But outside of X's and O's, um, you know, it just comes down, you know, guys getting to the ball and playing good technique. Um, <clears throat> a few of the runs that got out, um, one with me, you know, I was kind of peeking a little nosy in the wrong gap and, um, you know, got and the ball got out. So that's at the end of the day, that's what that comes down to, you know, guys, you know, want, having the will to want to stop the run and then, you know, playing technique and everybody just getting to the ball and making plays. Hey, a couple more. See, the, the whole process of getting that respect from opponents, is that something you expected? Yeah, well, I mean, nobody's just going to you know, give you the game or give you the win. You always got to go earn your spec and, or take the win, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, when, you, when you're having a struggling season, things not going your way, you know, things like that happen. So, um, you know, just, it just happened at that time. Um, it was, wasn't, a, wasn't a good game, especially on, on the defensive standpoint. So, you know, we, we got our bucks kid at the end of the day. And like I said, you know, the only way, only way we can change that is, is by going out there and doing it. So, I mean, I can, I can give you all the answers now on how we do that and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, we got to go do it on Sunday. Shouldn't basic sportsmanship uh, and respect be a given in the league? You know, you see players like Matthew Slater or uh, Larry Fitzgerald. They never do stuff like that. They just respect the opponent, whatever the record is. They go about their business and they go home. Shouldn't basic respect and sportsmanship just be there anyway? Yeah, I mean, but that's in life too. Everybody should treat everybody nice, but it's just not that way. So <laughs> <laughs> it just is what it is.